All right, guys, I'm Golden Ninja Vlogs, well, and today I'm doing yet another tier list. This time it's on both Plant vs. Zombies 1 and Plant vs. Zombies 2. Basically, what I'm doing is like returning plants and Plant vs. Zombies 2 redesigned from the previous game and essentially compare them, see if they're better, worse, or about the same. Well, I know it's kind of become a cliche, like in the beginning of the video, to do a bit where I beg for subs and likes and stuff. But honestly, getting these images for this tier list was a pain in the ass. In fact, I thought I'd got all of them, and then it turns out I forgot the cherry bomb. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? If you would leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, that would be very much appreciated. Alright, let's take you to the screen. Alright, so here are the images. Yeah, I made myself. The one thing you might have noticed is that I've actually included the Chinese ones as well. For the plants that came back in PVZ2, but only in China. And also, yes, exploding nuts on there as well, because why not? So there's actually only a handful of plants that aren't on here that haven't been brought back. Especially now I've got two of the newest ones, Scaredy Shroom and Sea Shroom. Which aren't in the game yet, but their design's out, so they qualify. I've not counted Doom Shroom though, since that's only as Boom Balloon Flowers plant food. And that's not even as an official plant, it's just as a balloon. So yeah, it doesn't qualify. Tier list names are Worthy Makeover, Slight Upgrade, Roughly the Same, Slight Downgrade, and Good God, What Have You Done? Also, I have roughly grouped these by... World Unlocks, but not necessarily in order, because I couldn't remember the order and I couldn't be asked to check. Alright, let's go on with the first one, which is, predictably, Pea Shooter. I'm not really sure what to make of this one. This is one I had in mind. There's one video where I said I like the more round appearance of them better. For this one, though, I'm generally not sure. I'd say the second Pea Shooter has the edge, like, above the neck, but the leaves on the first one are significantly better, even if they do fit in with the art style of PVZ2. Um, I don't know, I'm actually going to put this in roughly the same. By the way, that tier list doesn't mean like they look roughly the same, but they're sort of roughly the same in terms of how good I think their designs are. Although some of these do look like really similar to each other, as you'll find out later on. Now, Sunflower. Um, I suppose it's a similar thing, really. Although, I think the original Sunflower's face is a little too dark. It's supposed to be a sunflower. It's supposed to be joyful. It's supposed to be bright, etc, etc. Leaves also look the exact same as pea shooters. I only just noticed that looking right now. I think I'm going to put this one in slight upgrade then. I think the facial expressions on the original one are better though, like animation wise, which will also be a factor on this. Now, Walnut. Yeah, probably the first one where PZ1 gets the edge. This time, the more dull design actually works out well, because like, they're not really meant to stand out and be bright. It's meant to look like a walnut. The original one does that more. Plus, if I'm not mistaken, he actually has an animation on that game, rather than PZ2 where he just stands still and blinks the whole time. I mean, I've got to give him props to his PZ2 plant food for obvious reasons, but that's probably not enough. I'll go slide downgrade. I don't have a problem with the second walnut or anything, but I think the first one's better. With Snoopy and Repeater, I could pretty much just say the same as I did with Rake Pea Shooter. But I'm definitely struggling to separate the repeaters. Actually, I might put Snoopy and slide downgrade, because in PZ1, I think it's actually got like snowflakes on its shots, while PZ2 is just a blue pea. So, yeah, for that reason, I'd give OG Snoopy the edge there and repeat are roughly the same. Regardless, I'd definitely give both the Snoopy designs the edge over the Garden Warfare one. I just think the colour scheme there is just so lackluster. Anyway, next we have Potato Mine. Pretty similar, except the second one is more round while the first one's more flat. Honestly, I've always thought it looked quite ugly in the original game. I don't know whether it's going worthy makeover or slight upgrade, because it doesn't look amazing in the second game, it just doesn't look bad. Yeah, I guess I'll go slight upgrade then. I don't think they're different enough to give it one of the extreme ends. Now, Chomper. This is one I'm kind of conflicted on because the Chomper in PZ2 always seemed kind of out of place to me in the way that it just looks more round compared to the other games. The way it looks more spiky. You can see this with the Garden Warfare Chomper as well. I mean, they don't look that different on the pictures here now I think about it. It's kind of hard to judge given he's got his mouth open on the first one. But yeah, I think the second one, it fits the design well, but it just, it doesn't really look intimidating, that's the thing. Yeah, we'll go slight downgrade. Oh now, it's my boy, Cherry Bomb. I mean, I'm not sure what you're going to think of my ranking here. I might end up coming across as biased. I thought the second one was like easily one of the sleekest ones, if you know what I mean. Just looks so good in that game. The first one captures it well, but I think the second one just looks like so cool. It's a shame you only see it on the lawn for like one second. I'm actually going to go all the way on top here, worthy makeover. Alright, now we go with the Exploder Nut, which obviously he's not actually plantable in the first game outside of Walnut Bowling. But yeah, I've qualified it anyway. In the first game, he looks like just a regular one with a red filter one that I've used for my thumbnails a few times. But honestly, I don't know. I think that just looks much cooler, to be honest. In the second game, it just looks like a slightly overweight regular Walnut. So you'd never even guess that he explodes by looking at him there. I don't hate Exploding Nuts design, but yeah, I think we're going to have to go bottom tier for that one. I think it looks a lot better in the first game. 
Now we go night. First up, Puff Shroom. And you can't really tell by this render, but I never really liked the first Puff Shroom's appearance and the fact that he's like completely side on and you can usually only see one of his eyes. I know you can see two in this one here. And actually now I think about it, you can barely see the second eye on the PVZ2 one. Now I think about it, quite a lot of them look like they're sort of side on, but you can sort of see both parts of them. With this one, yeah. Also, it's just bright in the second game. Although I suppose it fits a night theme if it's dull in the first game. I don't know, I think I'm going to go slight upgrade. I also like that the PVZ2 posture also fades, but it's kind of unfair to factor those kind of things into it. So we'll go there. Now Hypnosroom. Well, these two I barely even tell the difference between, so that's just going to go roughly the same. Sunshroom. I kind of went into this one thinking I preferred PVZ2 Sunshroom, but I'm now, now I'm starting to fall back on it. It looks too much like the Mario Mushroom. Although that one is advantaged by the fact it gets three phases. With the original one, you only get two, and I think the face looks kind of bland. I don't know about this one. I think I'm going to go roughly the same once again. Right, Grave Buster. I think you probably know where I'm going to rank this one if you saw my Worst Design Plants video. Yeah, easy bottom tier. I know some people prefer him in PvZ2 because he's supposed to look like something else. Like he's greener, he's more realistic, etc. The first one is still a tree, though. He's like petrified wood. Animation's cool as well. Yeah, as much as I hate the Grave Buster as a plant in the first game, his design probably one of my top five, actually. So yeah, easy bottom tier. I'm taking no more questions. Fume Shroom, once again, can't really distinguish them. Nothing to do with physical appearance, but I think I'm actually going to put him in slight upgrade because I always thought his attack looked so much better in the second game. It's like a lot slower, but it's like a whole burst while then just a few bubbles that look like they don't do jack sh So yeah, slight upgrade. Now, Scaredy Shroom. Yeah, I just don't know what they're thinking with those eyes. I'm fine with it changing a stem from green to purple. But yeah, those eyes just completely kill it. I don't think I've actually seen any animations of them yet, so it might be a little unfair to judge. But yeah, this one's got to go. Yeah, right there. Right, lily pad now. Not really much to judge here. Got a lot more depth than PvZ2. Like, it's really flat in the first game. I think just slight upgrade. Not much more to say about it, really. Jalapeno. It's like the first one looks crazy, but the second one looks angrier. And I think what they're going for there works in both ways. You can tell on both of them he's on the verge of, like, you know, exploding. I think it looks really cool in both games, actually. Roughly the same. Or maybe even prefer the PvZ. I'll go roughly the same. Tangle Kelp. This one I've also mentioned before. I do think his evolution PvZ2 is quite good. Well design-wise, not necessarily plant-wise. Nothing wrong with the first game, but I do think he looks a bit better from the second game. I I'll go slice up Wade. Actually, now I think about it, Lily Patch are definitely going worthy makeover. You can just tell it looks so much better. Squash. Also, quite a significant difference here. In the first game, he's like staring into your soul, which is kind of creepy, to be honest, in an unnecessary way. Like, the player's not his enemy, right? The second one, he's like looking more to the right. His colour scheme's better as well. First game, he looks too pale. It's either slight or worthy. Worthy or slight. Yeah, we'll go worthy, just because I don't like the direction in the original game. 3 Peter now. This one I also didn't realise how different they looked until making these images. And the stems is actually what makes a difference for me. Because I think they look kind of messy in the original game. So I think once again we'll go Worthy Makeover. Right now, Tall Nut. I put Walnut in slide downgrade. Tall Nut I think is going to have to go at the bottom. As well as the colour scheme being better than the first game. I prefer the shape of it. And the facial expression is better as well. First game looks angry. Second game he just looks bored. Plus the first one cries. So he's instantly better. Right, Spike Weed. I don't really like either of the designs, to be honest. I think they're a bit boring, but I don't know. The first one looks kind of ugly, so I guess I'll give PvZ2 Spike Weed the edge. Torchwood. Also quite difficult to rank, really. The first one's a bit taller, and I think it actually looks more detailed. The flame's not as high, though. The thing that bugs me about him is his mouth. It's like this. I uh, can't do it. Yeah, I think I prefer two, then. <laughs> Right, now we're going into Fog, and we have Sea Shroom, which has recently been brought back for some reason. You can see a bit of it is cropped out, because there's not been an official HD image yet. I had to sort of grab one and then edit it myself. And as much as I think it's absolutely ludicrous they're bringing back Sea Shroom, like even more ludicrous than Scaredy Shroom's return, I think they've adapted the design in a really good way here. I don't actually mind the original design, I'd actually take it over Puff Shroom. And the tentacles at the bottom, which you don't actually see, I don't think, is a nice touch. This is the second game. Yeah, I think it's just a cool evolution. It's probably the best design plant they've released in quite a while, actually. Unless I'm forgetting someone, which I probably am. I'm actually putting that in Worthy Makeover. Now Blover. 
Okay, upon further inspection, he actually does have some sort of roots, but they kind of cropped out of this picture here. But they still look a lot better in the second game, and he just looks better in the second game overall. It will go slight. I don't think he's amazing in the second game though, so I don't go slight upgrade. Cactus now. This is kind of hard as well, because it's like, once again, they just fit in with their art style so well. The second one's a bit shorter, but I suppose, actually, they just added back the feature where she can reach up and take out balloon zombies. I'm going to go roughly the same. Magnus Room now. Not too much different, except the first one was eyebrows and the second one doesn't. I'm going to have to go roughly the same. I can't pick. Pumpkin's up next. I'm actually not sure what to think about this one. I can't even remember what I said in my video now. I think I imply that the second pumpkin was better, because it's more rounded, but... I don't know, the symmetry kind of doesn't work. If it's a pumpkin, you'd expect it to be asymmetrical. I don't know, unless it's by a professional pumpkin carver or something. It's in better as well. Although I think it, it does conceal quite a few of the plants. I don't think the first one had that issue. Do I go slight downgrade? I'm going to have to do it, I think. Star fruit. What the hell is up with PVZ1 star fruit? Probably the biggest upgrade. Plantain. Right, so what they've done in PVZ China, they made him slightly taller and given him different eyes. That's kind of it, really. I there's not really much to say there. Right now, Split Pea. This one once again comes down to the R style, but PvZ1, Split Pea, the front head's big one, that kind of bothered me while well, they're the same on the second game. The, well, the back one's a bit higher up, but in terms of size, yeah. We'll go slight upgrade. Wow, PvZ2 is really winning out right now, isn't it? Right, Cabbage Pole and Melon Pole, I'm actually going to group up. I've, I know a lot of people complain about the Cabbage Pole design in PvZ2 compared to one. I've never really minded it myself, to be honest. The reason why I group them together is because they seem to have like swapped colour schemes, which is a bit weird. I will definitely say first of all, I think Melon Pole looks better than the original game. I remember seeing this in my thumbnail for I think it was why PvZ1 is better than PvZ2. I think I actually put those two out sort of like to emphasise the one in the first game looking better. Are that or I just thought of it after looking at it for a while. So I'll go slide downgrade, I don't think it's tab on the second game. Cabbage Pole I'm actually not sure about. I'm just used to seeing the second one more. I'm tempted to just go slide downgrade again. I do sort of like the dark green better, but yeah, I think the first one wins there overall. Coffee bean, not really much to say. Looking at it closely, it just looks like a redesign of the chili bean, which I don't know, lazy. I know I said I like the original exploding art, but this one, we'll go the same. Right now, garlic. Can you tell a difference? I don't think I can. I think his eyes are a bit more purple in the first game, but other than that, yeah, there's not really much I can work with there. <laughs> Flower pot. I had to upscale the first one. You can really see the face in it now. And same as in the second game. We'll go roughly the same. I just occurred to me, I think all the Chinese plants have been this way so far. Now kernel pot. I've never really liked either of their designs, to be honest. PvZ2's kernel pole just looks so naked without any customizations. We'll go slide downgrade then, put it with all the other pulps. Can you you can't even see them all cat now, can you? Yeah, bottom tier's been scrubbed out. <laughs> right, Marigold, I was tempted not to count as well, but I think I will. Second game, like, I suppose maybe the face is bad, but on the first game she can change colours, like in the Zen Garden. Well, not on my device, which is a crying shame. Hello darkness, my old friend. We'll have to go slide downgrade for that reason, I think. Okay, now one of the upgrade plants. I think there's only yeah, there's only seven of these because Gloom Shroom and Gold Magnet never returned. Twin Sunflower. I guess we do the same as what I did with Reg Sunflower. Can't really do it any other way. Winter Melon. I do like it in the OG game. They didn't downgrade as much as Melon Pole, and even that wasn't too much. The Chili Basket on both games is kept. It has blue leaves instead of green on PvZ2. But other than that, there's not really much to favour one over the other four, so we'll put it in the middle. Right, Gatling P. Yes, Mega Gatling P counts, alright. He's got like a really cool artillery helmet, he even gets more stars on it when he gets plant fooded. Nothing up with the first one, but yeah, second one. He absolutely did a good job of redesigning him, I think. I don't... We'll go Worthy Makeover. Cattail. Now, just, now this one I am familiar with, since it is in the Plants vs Zombies 2 mod with Flourish. And I've used it quite a bit there. It's got a blue electric spike now, which is kind of part of its gimmick. Other than that, though, I don't know. I kind of prefer the first one, to be honest. Yeah, I think the blue looks kind of out of place. We'll go downgrade. All right, now, Cobb Cannon. I mean, I know I sort of said something about the fact that a lot of them look the same, the Chinese redesigns. This one, though, it changed, and for the worse, I think. The first one doesn't look amazing, in my opinion. They could have probably put more detail on the leaf. The um, husk wheel's quite nice. The second one, what have they done with this thing, honestly? The blue looks completely out of place. Just looks overdone as hell. You can tell there's an eye there, but no, don't like it. Don't like it. Bop. Now, Imitator. 
I've said before, I think it looks better in the first game, and although it's great, that actually really adds to its mystique sort of thing. And in some devices, imitated plants are great themselves. I get what they're going for in the second game, but uh, yeah, I preferred it in the first one. Right, last but not least, Spy Croc. It does look more metal in the second game. I'm not sure if that's enough to say it's an upgrade, though. I think it does look a bit better, actually. We'll go slight upgrade. Right, so that's all of them then. So I suppose going by this, Plant vs Zombies 2 wins by, like, I think, only three plants, actually. Yeah, it's got one more on slight upgrade and two more on Worthy Makeover than the equivalent tiers for Plant vs Zombies 1. But overall, yeah, that's the end of this video. What do you think? Please tell me your opinions in the comments down below. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Check out some GMVS merch. Suggest some more tier lists that you'd like to see me do in the comments below. I've been Golden Ninja Vlogspot. Thanks for watching.